This is a review of some metric conversion methods that we've been learning in class. First, we'll start with the problem. In this case, we're going to try to convert 125 meters to kilometers. You can see here that I've already drawn the box and columns. It's important that you understand the different parts of the box and columns. In this case, we'll start by looking at the metric prefixes that are written underneath the lines. You should also be aware that those metric prefixes are associated with a multiplier, which are written beneath it. You should also be aware that the different lines represent columns. Let's start doing the problem. The first step of three is to place the digit in the singles place into the metric prefix column that you're starting from. So the first thing we have to do is identify what's in the singles place in the number 125. Good, it's the 5. Now we have to decide what the metric prefix column that we're starting from. Well, our units are meters. There is no metric prefix. So that's going to go into the base unit column. We'll now transpose the 5 into the column. Step 2 is to fill in the rest of the number. In this case, it's 125. Notice that we have to keep the placeholders as they are in the original number. So now we've placed the number 125 appropriately into the box and columns. Step 3 is to move the decimal place to the right of the column you're going to. Well, the decimal place starts to the right of the base unit column, and we have to decide where we're going to. In this case, we're going to the kilo metric prefix column. So it's going to go to the right of the kilo column. And we're done. The answer to the problem then is 0.125. 125 meters is equivalent to 0.125 kilometers. Well done. Let's do another practice problem a little bit faster. This time we'll be converting 0.45 centigrams to milligrams. Let's start with the box and columns again. Step one is to place the digit in the singles place into the metric prefix column that you're starting from. Go ahead and identify what's in the singles place of the number 0 0.45. Good, it's the 0. It's always the number just to the left of the decimal place. We now have to decide what the metric prefix column that we're starting from is. Good, it's centi, which is here in the box and columns. We'll now place the 0 there. Step 2 is to fill in the rest of the number. In this case, 0 0.45. You notice that the 5 is kind of hanging out there. Feel free to add additional columns as needed. You don't have to, but it helps keep your work organized. Finally, step 3 is to move the decimal place to the right of the column you're going to. In this case, we're starting from centi, but we want to finish in milli. So we'll move the decimal point to the right of the milli column. Good, we're done now. And so our answer is, when we're converting 0 0.45 uh, centigrams to milligrams, is 4.5. Nice work. Let's do a little review of the three steps so you can do some on your own now. Step one is to place the digit in the singles place into the metric prefix column you're starting from. Step two is to fill in the rest of the number. Finally, step three is to move the decimal place to the right of the column you're going to.